Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So today what I want to work on is getting the sides here for the stone bricks all finished up. Uh, we'll see if we can't do that. I have somebody on a caravan right now, so hopefully we can get some more stone bricks for that. Um, not sure if we're going to have enough locally to actually work on that ourselves. So uh, I can check the stockpile. I know where it is now. I'm pretty sure we're not going to have enough. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have any spare ones or anything. Is there people working? Oh, there is some people over here. We do have some silver. Not a lot of limestone, though. can smelt that silver down, though. Uh, some silver there. Got some limestone here. Some limestone... Yeah, so we might be able to get a little bit of it made, but I don't think it's going to be like so much where we're going to be able to get a whole bunch of it. So hopefully we can pick up some bricks on our travels. I'm not sure how far away they are. A little little distance. But yeah, so all right. So there's that. And then we have all this storage here for things. Now I was thinking, oh yeah, we have that bear head. That's right, we were going to work on that kitchen. Uh, cooks, uh, quarters, there was a few of these that um, were not high enough quality. And I wanted to try to boost these. So this one was good. I wanted to try to get this one up to good as well. And we're going to probably need some more decorations and stuff like that to finish that off. So uh, what I was thinking was maybe add some bear heads or something like that to it and other animal heads so we might need to go hunting for that um now the question is what should i go hunting with for there's that bear that we have somewhere on the map we might be able to send some people with crossbows over there and that might help a little bit more we might send some um infantry as well so maybe edward and that person just so we have something hands-on that we can take on, right? So we'll tell them to all come over here where the bear is. He should be somewhere over here still. Yeah. So we'll get them to come over here. And take on that bear. It's only a few year or only like, I don't know, 28 days old. So it's not that old, but... We'll be able to take it on, I think.
so I bought a whole bunch of bricks and stone bricks and um, some limestone as well. Uh, we got quite a bit of uh, rep from that uh, particular um, faction, so I'm pretty happy with that. They're on their way back, so we'll be able to um, get that as soon as possible. So I'm going to start working on uh, getting these parts in uh, for around the windows and stuff like that. We'll see if we can't get this built. And hopefully we'll have this done by today. Um, we still have this whole section over here, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do it all today, but uh, we'll, we'll be aiming for it at least. And just a matter of getting the am amount of materials that we need. I know we have about 200 of these uh, saved up, so things like the, the walls won't take too much uh actual bricks to make it's just like five each right so 200 we should be able to finish that no problem it's the uh windows that are the most uh takes like 12 bricks or something like that so which is kind of interesting because the windows actually have less bricks than the wall pieces <laughs> and they actually use more which is interesting logic but um yeah, 12 bricks for that, and then for a wall sec section, it's five. So a little bit odd for the material costs, but it kind of makes sense. I mean, windows are probably designed to be a little bit more sturdy, but that's with mostly modern day equivalent to architecture and stuff like that, right? Back then, I mean, it would have been based on the material, especially if you're working with solid stone. I don't know. Uh, it just seems a little bit odd to have 12, but like, you know, game mechanic wise, it makes sense, I guess. But I don't know. It just seems a little bit off to have it more requirement. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's just a little bit weird. Alright, so we'll get that wall, the walls done on this section, and then we can start putting the windows in. We'll, we'll do the walls on this section too, I guess. We'll destroy these as we replace that part too. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start working on this stretch of kitchen. And then we just have this little corner here to do. We could even get that done, I think. I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a try. We do have bricks coming in, so it shouldn't take too long. They're just about here, so. Is that tree dead? Yes, it is. Let's destroy that. Trying to clean up the dead trees too.
Okay, so we got uh, most of the stone bricks planned out now, so, or they're just basically building them. Uh, most of it's um, set up. I think we are a little bit low on bricks. Yeah, we got 94 there. Got quite a bit of it, so we should be good. And I'm not sure if we... Yeah, they moved that already, so I'm glad we picked up those stone bricks. It should be enough to finish the bottom of the uh, kitchen here, I think. Uh, we got also 105 here, so yeah, we should be able to re replace the windows even, so. Um, just a matter of finishing the decoration on the corners here. And I still need to check to see how those bedrooms are doing for the quality. I'll probably do that in just a second. So I'll, do, I'll deal with that side in just a minute. But uh, let's see here, how is this room got a good chamber here and this one is also good all three are good perfect all right so i wanted to make sure that um that they were all good so i'm trying to level up them from modest to uh good rooms and that will probably re require me to get rid of these old ones uh these old ones are just modest for the most part i i don't think there was any production or prog progression into actually getting them uh better than that so <laughs> Um, I did try replacing the floors and stuff at one point, but I don't, I don't think it's like good enough quality for all of them. So we'll probably be either upgrading these into better ones or trying to just move them into flats above places like we did with the kitchen where all the cooks are kind of centralized for the, um, the cooking area, but we'll, um, definitely be tearing down these buildings next probably and uh building something else here i want to put a forge in actually you know what we can't put the forge in here because our cold storage is here right so that's that's fine we'll we'll finish that up with something else but we can probably upgrade these buildings uh, make them a little bit bigger or something like that and maybe move things around a little bit more uh centralize things um for building um there's this whole entire block here that we could probably get rid of just like a house and a couple houses so we could definitely put something there that should be out of the way okay maybe not out of the way we can put them over here i guess for where we currently have them but uh maybe make a bigger complex or something like that we'll have to move some stuff uh in the meantime but uh we still have that other church to build too that would take a lot of time i might save that neck for next season uh for like uh when we play the game uh, that way we'll have time to actually build it. Right, so we got it finally done. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, now there's just a couple things that I want to consider. Um, want your feedback on it. 
I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it this season, but um, I'll make a note of it in the comments if you leave a comment in the description for the next time we play this game. Now, these sections right here where the, the windows are, I was thinking about doing stone bricks for that. And I'm not sure if I want to do that just yet because I don't know if that would be a waste of resources or not. But like for decoration mostly, like how we would kind of outline some of the parts and stuff like that. I don't want to do the parts where the slanted are, uh, these parts here, or the parts where they're on the edge like that. But I was thinking maybe these parts right along uh, the very center of the part of the structure where it goes directly to the center of the roof could maybe look really good if it was stone bricks. I don't know if I want to do that. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys, uh, my viewers, for basically if you want that done. And if you do, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, say yes or no. And I will definitely work on that uh, the next time we play the game. There's still tons of stuff that we need to do for this entire uh, pro project for the city and stuff like that. I still have the walls to do and we have better planning for the buildings and stuff downtown. So I'm um, going to be working on that. And we still have that church to build uh, too, right? So there's definitely some major projects that we still have um, ahead of us when it comes to that kind of thing. And um, I think the next thing, project that we're going to be working on is probably just upgrading some of these buildings, the smaller ones, and getting a better design and maybe an extra additional room. I might move them over into this corner uh, a little bit further away from the um, over in the center here because we have all that cold storage and I don't want to get that all too warm or anything like that. So I think moving it out to the outskirts would probably be better. But outside of that, uh, we can also take the time to upgrade some of the buildings and make them higher. And then that way we can uh, get some housing for people above it. And that will save a lot of space uh, around the project itself. So we can put other things around there. But outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.